No speaking is generally considered as unpleasant activity but harmless. However, the research from Griffith University of Australia shows that this activity may not be as risk-free as it was seen before. It can lead to development of one of the major memory loss syndromes called Alzheimer's disease. Hi, I am Dr. Shri Bhatia presenting to you interesting health related topics to make you smarter. So this interesting study is published in Nature Scientific Journal and this study was conducted in mice. The researchers, they damaged the inside cavity, inside lining of the nasal cavity of the mice and then the bacteria present in the nasal cavity of the mice reached to the central nervous system via olfactory nerve. So what is this olfactory nerve? Olfactory nerve is that nerve which is direct link between brain and nasal cavity and it enables a person to have sense of smell. So what happened in the mice when bacteria reached central nervous system, when the bacteria reached brain, uh, the cells responded by development of by producing a harmful protein called alpha amyloid beta protein. So this alpha amyloid beta protein ultimately led to development of Alzheimer's disease. As I said before, Alzheimer's disease is a condition where there is profound memory loss and it is a progressive condition. That means it will progress from mild to severe and the person not only loses memory, the person also loses the ability to have normal conversations and uh, carry out day-to-day -day activities. So now the question is that how no speaking is related to the study that is done in mice. Uh, no speaking is also one of the activity which, which is known to cause damage to the inside lining of nasal cavity and just like what we have seen in mice uh, when we damage the inside lining of the nasal cavity in mice it can lead to uh, transfer of bacteria from nose to brain which, lead, which can lead to development of alpha amyloid beta protein the same we can expect when a person is picking their nose the inside lining of human nose can also get damaged and again exposing uh, olfactory nerve to the bacteria which becomes a pathway from nasal cavity to brain pathway to transfer uh, bacteria harmful bacteria from nasal cavity to brain and a similar kind of protein deposition of alpha myeloid beta protein can seen in human beings also but don't get panic because it is not a condition where you pick your nose today and in one week the bacteria has entered to your brain and you start developing symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. No, this is not the case. Alzheimer's disease is a very slow progressive, progressive condition and it can take decades before a person starts developing symptoms. We don't even know that whether you will be having Alzheimer's disease or not because this study is done in mice as yet and uh, results from human studies have yet to be presented. So if a nose picking is a bad habit someone having, uh, it can definitely cause uh, exposure of olfactory nerve to various bacteria and viruses and this habit therefore should be avoided. Thank you very much for watching. I will be making more such interesting healthcare related informative videos. Please subscribe to my channel and share and like my video. Thank you very much.